Welcome back to Cocktails with the Queens. Ladies, I've been dying to get your take on this topic ever since it happened last week. Now, following the overturning of Roe versus Wade, Republican Congresswoman Mary Miller thanked Donald Trump for the historic victory for white life at the Save America rally. Take a look. President Trump, on behalf of all the MAGA patriots in America, I want to thank you for the historic victory for white life in the Supreme Court yesterday. What are your thoughts on what she said? How do you feel about the Supreme Court letting states ban abortions? Vivica Fox, take it away. The audacity of white privilege. That was the first thing I thought when I saw that clip. I was like, so you are that bold now. Oh, that that you will get up in front of everyone and have this nutcase who really don't give two rhymes with. uh, Right, about y'all, who's just basically pimping y'all. Uh, you know, he then raised about three, four hundred million dollars, but may, a lot of y'all about to go to jail. There is this one older white lady that there's been a clip that that that's been going around. Jane uh, Elliott. Yes, that she, you know, this is because do y'all know that, you know, they try to say, oh, you know, uh, this is going to affect the brown and, and, and the black ladies a lot. Sixty percent of the abortions in the United States are by white women. Yes. Okay, let's talk some facts here. Mm-hmm. So because the rise in white, the decline in white population, the rise in brown and black people, um, they are starting to feel like they're being outnumbered. Exactly. I said this you, when we You know what I mean? So this is why, you know, Donald Trump, before he left, and he broke a couple of things that Obama wasn't able to do and put putting people on the Supreme Court that would do this, that, that one last chick, uh, that Gavinaugh, uh, the people, you know, he put a couple of people. Gavinaugh and so Sarah yeah. Comey. Yeah, Thank you very much. Um, so, you know, to for for them to get in front, her to get, get that, it just, it pissed me off to the highest epistivity, to be honest with you. I was like, wow, she they that bold now to just say that? Mm-hmm. I also feel like this is a deflection from the January 6th um, hearings that have been going on that have exposed Donald Trump so much. How convenient was this Roe versus Wade overturned when last them hearings been roasting him. Yeah. Have you thought about that? Yeah. Great point. That in two days, they did a gun ruling, the Supreme Court, and Roe versus Wade. I'm going to leave it with y'all. Yeah, Selena, I feel the exact same way because at first I was appalled. And it was like, but then I tell you this, it really put a dark cloud over everything because it was like, where's where are we going? Yeah. Like what is about to really happen here? You guys are putting things in place to really, really try to get rid of us. And is, are we that bad? Are you that challenged by us? Are you that afraid of us? It, 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 it just put things in perspective. Like we by ourselves, and we better be able to get together here on some shit because if not, they just might succeed yeah. because all of the, this for her to say that at that rally, it, it, and I know what they do because it's almost like they feel that it's equivalent. Her saying that, because I feel like she feels like there's nothing wrong with that because she said it, it's equivalent to us saying Black Lives Matter. So she's like, and yes, for the white lives. And it's like lives. And it's like, no, no, that's not the same. Exactly. We're standing up for what you all have done to us. And we're saying, no, no, we don't want this anymore. It must stop. That's what we're saying. But now that you know that, Y'all white women are taking out these babies where they don't want to be able to procreate kids anymore and be able to have kids. You saying, no, 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 we need more of us. So you know what, if they're gonna keep doing this, let's take this away from them. They're not trying to look at anything else for us to be able to help us achieve anything. So that was the switch and bait of that. And I, I I just feel like, I don't know what we can do, but I tell you that Maxine Congresswoman Maxine Waters was down there with that hand and that finger and that camera <laughs> saying, hey, we are not gonna tolerate this. I am yeah. not gonna sit down. We gotta get together and 
I saw, not that I have not ever seen a black woman come out of her, but I saw the neck roll and the whole, like, come on, people, let's rally together. This is serious. You need to look at the news. You need to learn. You need to read. You need to find out what's going on and check your facts and come on. And, and look at him standing behind her with his old. So I he's I feel very sad. I feel very sorry for white women. Um really how sad how sad of them. Mm -hmm. They really got this thing twisted. Um, mm -hmm. those poor babies, they they vote in the interests of their husbands and they get screwed the big exactly. Um, it's the it's the irony for me that a white woman is sitting here saying this is a win when you all are the ones who are the highest percentage of abortion. Um all of this white, listen, white men in power, um, they don't care about anything that we're talking about. All they want to do is control the land and anything that jeopardizes that is, has to go. And this is what they've been fighting for for many years. Abortion, again, I, I've said this before, it jeopardizes their population. If they cannot be the majority, this cannot be a white man's land anymore, exactly. you know, in their minds, because they've, They've gone and they tried to stop the Mexicans with a with a with a wall, you know, when it was your idea in the beginning to increase immigration. <laughs> you see, so it's it's these white women that voted for Donald Trump. Y'all voted for him. And then he got in and put these people in the Supreme on the Supreme Court and they overturned Roe versus Wade. And now you're the ones that are going to suffer. Exactly. You now you are the ones that voted, voted for this. It's quite fascinating to watch them fight for the fight in the interest of their husbands, because that's what they do. They fight and they vote in the interest of their husbands. Not all white women, but the majority of white women. When the um, when the polls came in of voting um, in terms of Donald Trump, it was like fifty five percent white women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're voting for Let's talk about that real quick against Hillary, because yeah, against Hillary. That's what I'm saying. Our first female president. They, they voted Rescue against their own down. interests. They yes. voted against their own interests to protect their men because their men represent their livelihood, which represents taking care of their children. And that is how they were raised. And so as long as that's the case, this is the type of world, this is the type of America that we will experience. They don't, they don't care who else it hurts. They don't care about any other race other than themselves. And I am so sad. sick and tired of Republican white women. Mm -hmm. I am so sick and tired of it. I want to give y'all my entire ASS to kiss because you benefit the most from affirmative action, yet you vote against things that would help us. Yes. You stand with your man, but then you want to be seen as so independent. You're not independent. Yes. You're whack as hell. You can't make a decision on your own and you just do mm. what your man tells you to do. Mm. You vote for laws that would harm your own daughter. Do you hear yes. me? Yes. If your daughter yes. gets raped or molested or God forbid has sex with the condom and the condom bursts and she's not ready to have a baby. You are voting against her getting help. You're also voting against if your daughter has a topic pre pregnancy and the fetus develops in a fallopian tube, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the procedure for that is an abortion. If she's a septic pregnancy and she needs an abortion to save her life, you just voted for your daughter to die. So you miss me with all this bleeding heart stuff when, when, you, when you know, with all this fake nonsense fake empathy you have because you're really just as evil as your your husband's if that's not why more. you're caring that's you why fight, Karen. and y'all y'all want to play the the, the the empathy i'm a mother you're not you're a monster you're a yes. monster and you Get can't him. even vote you, you hate other women let me finish going in on them real quick before we go to commercial you, you hate other women to the point where you couldn't deal with a Hillary Clinton because she, her voice annoyed you. Her pantsuits were ugly. She was obnoxious. She was a bitch. No, you're a bitch for how you're voting right now because your vote right now is hurting us. And Everybody. once again, black women are over here trying to save the world. Black women, stand down. Stand down. We've done enough. It's Word. our call now. We just gonna protect ourselves, worry yep. about ourselves and let them sort it out because we have always put our blood, sweat, and tears to help everybody, and they never bring it back to us. Y'all ain't at our marches. You ain't marching with us. us. You ain't standing with us. And we always stand with y'all. So F y'all for, forever. How about Can that? You so thing too? Let's I'm just so hope that this them. Roe versus Wade, because we saw Clarence Thomas come out saying now there should be other legislation that now we will start taking care of. So that's going to be same-sex marriages, 
uh, I mean, it, it's going to lead, it's going to be a, hate, a windfall of things that they hate women, been, you know, that, that, that are, you know, have been for this. over 50 years for people to be able to live their lives, decide what they're going to do with their bodies. But I want to send a shout, shout out to uh, California governor, uh, governor Newsom. Thank you. Uh, we be trying to know. you know, we got a safe haven. That in Chicago, it, Chicago it, it too. Will not take the right for a woman to do what her body what she wants. Yeah, to. it'll be state okay. to state. It'll well, be now the state. Republicans are looking to try to do a nationwide ban, make it a federal law. So they're going to try to take away the, yeah. the before they're like it's for the states, the yeah. states, states, and now they want to take it away. You are so scared of the browning of America, which is going to happen. Yeah, hey, brothers, never. brothers, brothers, do your thing before we okay. was like brothers, do, 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 do your do. thing. <laughs> Go make a and bunch of what? Halle Berry's and Barack Obama's. I ain't mad at it. Go ahead and do that. You, you know what, ladies? Here's another thing to think about, another perspective. You, you now are going to have people trying to be desperate to get to those states to be able to get help when they get in a circumstance. And now they're going to have to show their ID to prove that they're from there, but not going to be able to. And now you're going to point out and give out jail sentences as if though we have taxpayer money more taxpaying dollars to be able to put somebody in a cell and in jail because they wanted to go and have an abortion because of a rape or because of whatever circumstances well, that's another way to look at it and you're putting you're putting women at risk you're putting women at risk because guess what they're gonna do what they're gonna do they're just gonna go back to the old way of having unsafe or whatever yeah but can i say you know what i'm saying like but but you're providing no new ways that for women that if they do have these children for the children to be taken care of. Right. We don't even have formula. We ain't even got no formula. Because we ain't got no tampons. <laughs> we ain't got yeah. nothing. Y'all don't, y'all hate women. Y'all hate the us. Evangelicals in America, and y'all could be mad at me if you want to, because I don't give a damn. Y'all are so full of crap. You're not pro-life. You're pro-power and control. Because exactly. if you were pro-life, you would say, hey, we got to figure out something when these babies get here. You would care. And you can't be pro-life and be, hey, guns for everybody. Elected and increase care. gun laws. Yes. Them all. We yeah. don't care. Uh, and increase gun rights. Miss That's me. a fool. The pro-life narrative is such BS. You're not pro-life. You're pro-control. You're making yeah. them state property and their bodies. We're just a birthing vessel to them because you, want, you want them 60% of them babies in your ranks. We won't be voting soon. They'll, they'll take those rights away too. Man, I'm moving to Aruba. I'm sick of this. Now. I'm telling you, you got it. <laughs> and Democrats, real quick, you better get, you better start getting tough. Stop being kumbaya and thinking that they're going to work with you. They ain't going to work with you. You got to play yeah. as dirty as the Republicans. Oh, we're never going to get anywhere. Stop being weak. Give Black people reparations. Stop with the nonsense and fight back. back. Stop waiting for Republicans to act the way you're going to act. They ain't never going to behave the way we do. Never. Okay. And, and acknowledge your Black base that got your asses in office. Oh, that part. I'll vote back. No talk, because we watching y'all. Uh, that part. All right, y'all. Sorry, Claudia Luther King. I got to go to break. We're going to take a quick commercial break. I'm frustrated. I'm going to drink this Tito's. We'll be right back. Damn it.